The fourth business is software, and the gross margins are between 80 and 90%. If you think about it, having a new customer use your software costs nothing. Literally, it's like server data storage on some computer. Now, I learned this personally back in the 2000s when I started writing code and building software. And over the years, I just found it so amazing that I can build some software once and the more it grows, the less it costs me. And as long as the servers don't change, that code will run the way it has forever. Now, I have a lot of friends that want to get into software, but what they miss is these key points to make the software work. Because if you don't have people using it and loving it the way you need to, then it's not gonna create the margins because customers are gonna come and they're gonna go. Number one is a sticky product. You wanna build a tool that solves a problem in a business where they have to use it every day. Think about things that are painkillers, not vitamins. You wanna create something that's a must have problem solve, not a nice to have like a vitamin. Think, you know, dating sites where it's just like a one and done or taxes where they do it once a year. Those are not tools that are gonna to have daily usage like a Dropbox or a Slack. So you wanna look for problems that are sticky in regards to the product solving those problems and keeping them around. Number two is boring industry. See, most people build software for marketing or sales because it's what they know. But the problem is the customers are gonna be swapping off of your product to your competitors every three to six months. You wanna be in boring industries like local services, lawn care, body shop software, government is definitely a fit. You wanna find customers that aren't always looking for the latest whiz bang, but you can solve a core problem in their business using software. Number three is first time user experience, also pronounced Fatui. The key is, is you wanna look at your software as like the level one of a video game. You know, when you start playing a video game, they don't just like drop you in and say, start fighting or start racing. Like they walk you through the process and they actually teach you. You're not playing the game, but you're kind of playing the game. That is the same concept you wanna do with your software so you don't overwhelm people and get them to what's called activation or receiving core value. Most people try to add too much to the product, especially when people just sign up and it confuses the customer. So you wanna focus on that first time user experience to make sure they activate and receive the value you promise on your homepage. Number four is focus on retention. See, too often people wanna focus on the chocolate, which is marketing and sales and getting more customers and leads and just trying to get as many people into the thing. But the real broccoli of software is retention and keeping people from churning out, figuring out of the people that leave, why did they leave? Try to keep them back because the more you can keep the customers that you've got, the higher the lifetime value will be of your customers over time, which will massively increase your gross margin and what makes software so powerful.